Welcome back everybody, I am Headwoon and this is In Game with Minecraft. This is episode number two and I'm going to show you what I have been working on. So, you know, you are most likely familiar with, with most of us. Oh, look at here. We have a, a zombie pig head. And you know what? I don't want him in my home. I want you to go away. Yep, that's, that's how I feel about you coming into my home. Don't you come into my home without asking. And holy cow, is that all tin? Holy mackerel. Okay, I might have to rethink something here. Um, guys, sorry about this. Uh, I might have to put the lead. No, that would be too much. Maybe I should just put the tin in the other one. Yeah, there's so much tin. Um, put copper? Yeah, okay, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, well, guys, you're about to... F okay, so, before I actually begin, because I do have enough space, I can. it does have enough time to f for me to work through this. Okay, so, up here... Oh, it's empty! Holy crap, it finally finished, or it's it's processing. Okay, so what I needed to do, because this thing, when my quarry finished, and this thing was absolutely full, completely and absolutely full of, of ores. So I thought, you know what, I don't want to have to click on this, then, you know, pulverize something, then put it in the furnace, and go back and forth and back and forth and yada 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 and it would just been a pain in the ass. So what I did do was I set up a transportation system for the ores. This is a um, a redstone engine. It's being powered by you know redstone torch right there, and that is a wood transport pipe hooked to uh, let's see this is stone transport pipe and it just takes everything nice and leisurely down the way and we'll put it right into for us here and I can already see that there's something wrong okay so this is run out of coal and let me just pick up some more coal and I'll refill these while we're kind of poking around here. Let me do this one too. Get this one all filled up very nicely. And is it starting to process yet? There we go. Okay, and this looks like it's stalled out because, you know, things kind of got stopped. So this is the pulverizer. It takes this, puts it right into the side of the pulverizer, and then gets processed through, and because it's sitting right next to the furnace, it goes ahead and makes the ingot, takes it out, because this is the output of the furnace, takes it down there, takes it actually underground to right Let's see, I believe it's right here. There it is. Okay. And so this, it takes it right into here. It then uses this to determine which way it's going to go, which ingots go in which direction to which, you know, chest. And I think uh, what I need to do is, uh, I can't jump up. Okay, well, let me get over here and go up here. Now, okay, so let me take out one piece of tin because I need to set this. Oh, wait, no. Um, yeah, I wanted it to put copper in here with this and put tin in there. Actually, I don't know if... Does it have enough for tin? It might. Yeah. 
You know what? Maybe putting lead in there would probably be better. Because I think that one would hold lead with no problem. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Uh, we've got copper going there. I want copper to go to green now. So we're going to take this out of here. I want copper to go to green. And I want lead to go to blue. And then, OK, so it's just redistributing accordingly. So now, go ahead and take all this out of here, throw it in here, and we're going to start seeing this number increase in just a second. Because I did see a copper piece go in this direction. And where is it? Is it just taking its sweet time? Yeah, it's probably taking its sweet time. Oh, I can see it going around the bend. Yeah, they're a little bit slow on a crawl. Okay, take that out. Okay, I think our first one's coming in. Any second now? <laughs> Bueller, Bueller, Bueller. And we've also got, okay, there it is. So it's working just fine. So now, lead is going to go into here. So we're going to take all of the lead out of here. Put that guy in there. Put all the lead in there. Beautiful. I'm going to take this out just so I can reorder it real quickly. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this should work. Beautiful. Oh, wait, actually, almost. There we go. Take that out. Put it back in. And we're looking great. Silicon, some glass, a piece of gold. And we're doing good. So again, what it's doing, taking it out, putting it into the side of the pulverizer, pulverizing it, put it right in the furnace, having to go all the way down here, sorting through it, and putting it back. That way, I don't have to worry about doing everything on it on my own. Now, when I left, which was about you know six hours ago, this thing was completely and absolutely full. And it was because of this wonderful little thing, the chunk loader, it was able to process on the server during that time without me doing anything. So now over here, um, actually, let me check my inventory. OK, we're going to go into Nether because we have this guy over here. OK, what you doing over here? Are you just, are you lost? Are you done? OK. It looks like he actually, here's a, another chunk loader. But I believe, did he go out of range? No, he was still in range. This guy should have kept going when I signed off. Well, I guess for whatever reason it didn't. Um, there's nothing in there. And what this is doing, it's chest with, again, a wooden piece redstone pump and this is a item tesseract this is actually sending items to the other matching tesseract which actually happens to be at my home right sitting right next to a double chest so that way it can I don't have to come back here to get stuff it's just gonna send it to it automatically now I can see there is some items in here that I'm going to want to take back with me. And I think he's actually finished. He was supposed to do a 15 by 15. I wonder if I can hit him to continue. Um, uh, no wireless modem found. Please enter the coordinates manually. Um, well, see, the coordinates were actually from here, from exactly right here. So they would be 59, 60, negative 52, 1. So 59, 60, 
60, or no, 59, 60, negative 52, 1. So that's where it began. Now, I have no idea if it's going to take it right at this point and go the, you know, do this correctly. I have no idea where he's going. He's gone. He's going this way. What the hell is he doing? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Um, here, here, here. Okay. Um, here, here, okay, here, beautiful, okay, my friend, where did you go? Okay, it looks like he's gone somewhere now. Uh, okay, well, I might as well take advantage of, you know, some experience and get these things. Now, I hate these things because I haven't found, you know, a true real purpose for them where they're going to, like, besides the fact that they, you know, give me more experience. Okay, now this, these ores, I can take with me. But I know by taking these, I'm going to piss off those little pygmy zombie pig heads. Okay, so I think I took the last one. Oh, I guess there was one in, in approximate position to it. Okay, there is one. Okay, there's another two. All right. So now I learned that if you start mining these things and it starts sizzling, if you don't clear out the entire thing quickly, that it will set off a chain reaction explosion that triggers all the other ores around it, thus, you know, making it explode. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's anything. Okay, so we can go ahead and start mining this real quick. Oh, that just that's too much. Yeah, that's going to be a big explosion. And a second one. Yep. Oh, darn it. Thanks to my, you know, wonderful protection, I was able to survive. Now, this guy right here. Okay, looks fine. Okay, we're looking fine. Okay. Now, hopefully... Okay, this is a lot. Oh! Oh! Okay, let's see, any more? Yeah, awesome. So the ones that have, the ones that have this like, look like red bubbled, you know, squares, those are actually filled with um, creatures. And what I need to do is actually, I need to fill this in real quick. Trick is, I let him out, then kill him right away. Let him out, kill him right away. Let him out, kill him right away. Oop, you got me once. Let him out, kill him right away. Let him out. So you get it. And each one of these little guys gives you experience. Okay, let him out, kill him right away. Now this is a pretty big area to be mined, you know, without it exploding. But I'm going to give it a try, see if I can get this going. Now I know there's nothing down there, so I'm going to go ahead and fill this back in, just so I don't have to 
step through anything. Okay. It's not working. It's going to explode. It's going to explode again. And... Yeah, and again. Hey! Where the hell do you come from? Did I say that you can actually be released and come out and destroy my day? What the... Blue bases is going on here? No, I need to fill in it, not cover it up. There we go. And a couple of you might have actually heard um, something that sounded like some weird kind of grunting noise. Well, that was um, the zombie pig heads. And they don't like you mining their stuff. They get very unhappy when you mine their stuff. See like that sound right there? They are pissed. And if they find me, they'll attack me. They will definitely attack me. Oh boy. Okay, there was some of that stuff. I don't like buying that. Okay, so now I gotta be careful because there's probably some around here. Anyways, but we're gonna head back to the house. Okay. There we go. Heading back to the house. And, okay, good. No zombie pigs followed me. Good, wonderful. And let's see. I ended up. I ended. Ha I ended up with so much stuff that we really just had to just create more chests. I mean, it was just we had. I had no choice. So what I've done is actually moved all my nether rack, which is that common dirt area. You know, the dirt of the nether. Put it in here took all of the redstone. I mean, you can see how much redstone I have. And then this is like the, where it comes in naturally. We've got an empty chest over here just in case. Lapis has gone into there. This is stuff that we found in the rift. Now, I know we haven't done it for an actual recording yet, but the rift is an area where it's basically like a void space black and there are occasional walkways. Um, I've gone in and retrieved some cool stuff some rift blades uh, some rift removals and they also give you these cool things which add to you know you can actually put this along with an item in on a table and it will apply that enchantment to that item and I think there are one use you use the book and that's it. It's done. And we've also found Fabric of Reality, which I, you know what? I wanted to see Stable Fabric. Wait a, okay, let's see. What, what does this make? Oh, you can actually make a dimensional door. Oh. place anywhere in pocket dimension to approach surface. Interesting. Transdimensional trapdoor. That is wicked. First click stores location. Second click creates two rifts that link the first location with the second. What? Wait a minute. First click stores the location, second click creates two rifts that link the first location with the second location. 
So are you telling me that I can create direct transport, rift transports from one location to another? And does it have to be in the rift? That's the question. That's a good question. If you, I mean, if you could do it out in the overworld, that would be cool. There's rift removal and the stabilized rift signature. First click stores location. Second click creates two rifts that link the first location with the second location. Stabilized rift signature. Interesting. So you need one of these. Okay, and then you need one. Okay, so this. Interesting. Lots of inter interesting things. Okay, so fabric of reality. Um, use. An ender pearl and fabric of reality creates a stable rift. Or f stable fabric. Okay, so what does unraveled fabric do. Oh, same thing. So, wait a minute. Oh, stable fabric. Stable fabric. So, oh, it's telling me I can use unraveled or fabric of reality. You know, I'm going to try this. Um, let's grab some of the fabric of reality. And let's see. We want to create... a stabilized rift signature. Yeah, we want to create one of these. So first we have to create a rift signature. So we need... Actually, that's pretty easy. I mean, an ender pearl is just, you know, four pieces of iron. kind of interesting. Okay. Um, but I need four stable f fabric, which is created by doing, wait a minute, stable fabric. Did I miss something? Okay, so to create the stable fabric, ender pearl and fabric of reality. So I need ender pearls no matter what. Okay, so let's grab some iron. And I'm going to grab a stack. You know what? I'm not hearing. <gasps> Did it actually finish everything? Oh, look at that. Just the tiniest number left. Let's just make sure everything's working right. It is, look at that. I am super happy, super, super happy that this is working. Pulverize lead, pulverize lead. Okay, well, you know what? I'm going to throw these in. Oops. Dog, I, I seem to keep doing that. Although, you know what? For some reason, oh, you know what's going on? I didn't even realize that. Oh, it's actually exporting downward into a standard furnace. Son of a bitch. I didn't know it could do that. And I guess it could only do it in the top, which totally makes sense. Totally, totally makes sense. And I've got a, darn it, I've got a furnace hiding back there that I can't use. Anyway, let's go ahead and throw this in there. Wow, I totally didn't realize it. That's why I have to... <laughs> Anyways, I digress. Okay, so... Put pulverized lead in there, whatever. Alright, so... Um, oh, the minion stone. Gotta do this real quick. Put the minion stone in here. And we can grab maybe about... I use a lot of these, so I'm going to grab eight. 
You know what? Screw it. 16. Because I think we actually use some... Oh, and you probably you guys probably saw this. That's from the rift. There are traps in the rift, which, I, you know, if you know where they are, you can sabotage them and then steal the TNT. 